you know what I'm saying? It's cash motivated. The money know me, you know what I'm saying? Can you box in the businessman, the entrepreneur, Mr. Everything, you know what I'm saying? Get to it. Around like, what age would you say you just like was your own person? Ain't nobody telling you how to move type shit. Shit, I mean that shit came young, you feel what I'm saying? I got brought up with a single parent, mm -hmm. single mother, so they can hold, only hold another male down so long for so long until that until that young boy turns into a man, you know? And then that man starts to care for himself and figure shit out for himself. You feel me? That's what happened. You know, my mom, me and my mom's relationship is very good and she's been very lenient. And I feel like that's the reason why I am today, who I am today, because you know, she kind of threw me out there in that water and let me figure out about myself. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm the stand-up guy I am today. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to her. I'm yeah. so, I would say, but to answer your question, what age? You know, I would say about, I will say about 11 years old, 11, 12 years old. But you, you would say that taught you a lot, you know what I'm saying? In life, you know, at an early age, you know what I'm saying? Mom's most just definitely, most definitely. giving you that tough love. Most definitely, most definitely. Like, how did your name come about, bro? Cash motivated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's self-explanatory. I'm bad motivated. I'm, uh, you know, strictly about the dollars, OCD. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm just, I got a, I got a um, obsession with, you know, money. I got an obsession with whole work, so I'm cash motivated. Hell yeah. And like you make music, like like well, what's what's the whole like? You know what I'm saying? No, I hear what you're saying. Um, so look, as we said before, I can't be boxing. You know what I'm saying? Right, I'm right. A, I'm a businessman first, so um, I can't be classified as a rapper. Uh -huh. I can't be classified as a trapper. I can't be classified as a P. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just cash motivated. But um, I definitely got music out there. Definitely want to pursue music if it if it's bringing the success, if it's bringing what I need. Definitely gonna pursue it, but um, yeah, not only a record, bro. And I, I noticed that you, uh, you've been going crazy with these YouTube videos, though, man. Like, talk to me about that. Man, so uh, you feel what I'm saying? I wanted to start YouTube because of the money in it. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I heard, I heard it's good money. You post in the video, and you get paid. Obviously, it's a process to it. Um, if y'all not familiar, you need a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours before you get any type of income from your content. So, um, you know, that was just just going into that, that was my main focus. And now I'm at 15, I'm at 1800 subscribers and okay. um, yeah, bro, like it, it was just all for the money. And you know what I'm saying? And now I, I got other motivations from it, you know, through oh, yeah. the process and, and getting inside into, you know. You just basically do the same type of uh, style every time, like where you just be asking the girls questions? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you remind me of like other channels that be out there that be doing that, you know what I'm saying? So as of right now, bro, it's really no um, niche to the channel, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? My main goal is to grow a, a following for myself, for Cash Motivated, you know what I'm saying? So it's whether I'm doing public interviews, whether I'm making music, whether I'm boxing, it don't matter. People just gonna like me. So as of right now, we just doing the public interviews, trying to get a little um, buzz from the shit, and we is getting the buzz, but... Um, yeah, it's not gonna only be public interviews. Y'all can expect more in the future. You feel me? I got a couple workout videos on there. I'm also a personal trainer. Um, got a couple music videos on there. Shit, one of my music videos has 19K. He a fan, you feel what I'm saying? Okay. That's some little weed shit too. I didn't even wanna post it, post the song, but uh -huh. got some music on there. Got some music on some other channels, you feel what I'm saying? So, I dip and devil, for sure. Uh, so like, what's your main, like goal just in life in general you mentioned money you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. you trying to own like a business like what, what's going on man so ultimately um my passion is hard work uh it stands from basketball throughout my whole life I, i've been an athlete i played basketball and, and you know my senior year of high school i kind of got into some trouble and i got kicked off the basketball team lost all my offers mm -hmm. and when i graduated i was kind of just floating around you feel what i'm saying and um but I, 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 nothing really made me feel how I felt about basketball. I started picking up the weights and I got that same same motivation. So um, as of right now, my goal, I want to open up a gym. Uh -huh. I want to open up a location, right? Mm -hmm. As a barber shop. Mm -hmm. I don't tell too much people this sauce. It's the first time I'm I already know where you're going with this shit. I, 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 I already know uh, some people. You, you tell yeah, you people can, ideas, they put salt on yeah, your shit. I already so, know. You got to keep it. 
closed, but it's K Shop. You know what I'm saying? K Shop. So we up here exclusive. Um, I wanna I wanna open up a location that has a barbershop, a gym, and a boxing um, and a yeah, boxing yeah. facility within one. You know, so it can kind of be like a man for men to come and, and blow off steam if you want to, just like the salon, if you want to go get your haircut, you can do that. If you want to go get your haircut, then you want to hit the bag and blow off some steam, yeah. you can walk downstairs. If you want to get your lifting, you can do that as well. So, um, I, that's not my ultimate goal in life, but as of right now, that's the goal I'm trying to work, I'm trying to move to, for sure. And I mean, that's the that's the number one thing that you got to do when you make a business like that is like the two things that you combine in is it's relatable to where like those are two things people do in life you know what i'm saying they go from one place to the next you dig right. me so right. like you just have it right there you know what i'm saying work. yeah because it's work. relatable check it out like this too as a man you need to be you need to have fitness within your life that's that that's the, that's one your health is, is is you can't put a price on your health two you need to get your fucking hair cut you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like and three, you need to know how to protect yourself. You need to know how to fight. So with this location, I feel like you cannot, you, it don't get better than this location that I have in mind. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can get all three of those necessities within one. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think that would be hard, bro. So like right now, what's your current move in life? You know what I'm saying? My current move? Yeah, like what, what you doing right now? Um, like at this very moment, like what you like other than the interviews, you're yeah. doing the the workout videos. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Is that your? Are those two things your main uh, focus? So so so, um, I would say boxing. You know what I'm saying? I I, I noticed that I have a lot of potential within that. Um, it's just something that I liked. I just grew up liking it for. I didn't really think too much of it. But um, once I started kind of getting inside the sport and inside you know, what boxing is actually like. I can definitely, you know, from here from other people too, um, I, I definitely can consider going pro and, you know, even fighting professionally. But um, that's a big jump. That's a big jump. Nigga, you know, fighter, boxers is dogs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. They're out there to tear some shit up. You I'm mama, mama, mama. <laughs> a fighter, to tell you the truth, I just got into this fighting world, right? I want to say about uh -huh. two years ago. And, and fighters got a different mentality, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and it's something that you can learn off a of fighter for sure. Like, what, what's something you want OC to know about you right now, bro? Yeah, man, what you got to say to OC? You feel what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna let Orange County know that, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own <clears throat> route that they trying to, that try, they trying to uh, pursue. We can all help each other out, my nigga. Yeah. I'm a big believer in an arm for an arm. You give me an arm, I can give you an arm. You know, life is about the, the connections that you make, you know, the, the relationships that you build. So, Orange County is very overlooked. We got LA County, oh, yeah. we kind of like the little brother of LA County. I don't like that at all because I feel like it's a lot of talent. I feel like it's a lot of shit going on within our county. So, if we kind of team up and, um, you know, support one another, we can become bigger than or on LA County. We can become a main attraction. You know, Orange County can become that. You know, so yeah. Uh, yeah that's a fact. <clears throat> I mean, like that's the whole point of my channel. You know what I'm saying? Is to help people have a platform to be seen on other than their own. You dig me? So it's like we, we we just trying to put the city on. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely, one hundred percent. Shit, and I'm on this, I'm honored to be here, bro. It really is. Yeah. I, I'm, at, I'm at the beginning stages of what you got going on, and I, I know I'm manifesting it right now. I know this shit gonna skyrocket. Now, I'm not just saying that either. Oh, bro, got his, I'm in his crib right now. I'm seeing his whole behind the scenes, this whole setup. It's a passion for this, you know what I'm saying? I can feel it. Y'all can feel it through the camera, too. So, you know, definitely tap in. You know, we taking over. Yeah, yeah, bro. People, people are gonna tap in. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they know the truth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. one thing that people can't deny, bro. Yeah, is, uh, it's the truth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta hear it. The truth. Yeah. When they, when they hear what's real, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They gonna gravitate. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Definitely, definitely. Amen. So, like, talk to me about this book that you brought over here, man. Oh uh, yeah, the Forty Eight Laws of Power, right? So, um, this isn't a book you wrote or nothing, is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Soon to be, but now the 48 laws of power. You feel what I'm saying? A little back, um, a background or backstory around this from this book. It is it, it's, it's written by Robert Greene, one of my favorite authors. 
And the reason why I brought it here today is it, it influenced my life in a way where words can't even describe. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, it's became, this book has became a part of me. And um, I just, you know, I, I, I advise everybody to pick it up. I advise everybody to start reading in general. Don't got to be the 48 Laws of Power. Don't got to be, it got to be Robert Greene. You gonna like one of his books, but um, nah, man, it's just it, it's with it's installed something in me that I, I just want to share. You feel what I'm saying? And that's why I brought it on. It's it got 48 laws in it, and one law that sticks out to me is never outshine the master. Reason being <clears throat> because you know in life a lot of people got a lot of baggage. You know a lot mm -hmm. of people got a lot of animosity. A lot of people got a lot of jealousy. A lot of people don't got genuineness in their heart. Yeah, yeah. So if you got something that somebody else don't got. That creates hatred. So never outshining the master. You know what I'm saying? That that kind of that's like you kind of gotta suppress yourself in the presence of others, so you don't cause that hatred to come to you. And that's one. That's one law that just stuck out to me. Never outshine the master. Do your research. Read about it. I mean, I don't know if you ever been locked up, but I mean, I know a lot yeah. of people that. Yeah, see, so time. even he, you need day. So this book is it is really popular amongst prison uh -huh. prisoners, amongst people of my culture, uh -huh. people of his aesthetic and his culture. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, it is it installs something in you that you know what I'm saying. It, it, it prepares you for life and how you become a man. So uh -huh. for sure, I need to share that. So I just get, I just dropped the sauce on you. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pick it up when you got the chance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, like, you, you ever think about writing a book someday yourself? So you see this chain, right? I don't know if y'all can see it. It's a book. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a book. Um, it's a book, and it, and, and it, it represents the story of my life. So physically, I probably, I probably won't sit down and, you know, work on a piece of paper and write my book. But um, throughout every day, right now, this is part of the, the book I'm writing, the story I'm, I'm creating, you feel what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And I'm the author of it, you know, I control my own fate. I'm the master of my fate. I create the bed I'm going to lay in. So, yeah, man, to answer your question, I'm writing a book as we speak, you know what I'm saying? You part of it, for sure. So, you need to put your grind in, you know? Oh, my, yeah. yeah. You know, my whole brain is hustling for luxury, so, you know, it speaks for itself. We all hustling for it, you know? We getting to, we, we chasing that luxury, it's like, you know? And um, my philosophy on life is hard work, hard work, hard work never goes unnoticed, you know what I'm saying? Hard work beats talent and talent fails to work hard. It's countless amounts of quotes that, that, that is evident of that, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, let's work hard. I'm trying to work, you feel me? Yeah, I feel like in, in every aspect in life too, you know what I'm saying? Like you basically got to put hard work, dedication, consistency into it and that's how you really like get that shit going, you know what I'm saying? Be, be successful with that shit, you know? I'm definitely. Man, so what's up, man? I see you don't got no tattoos, bro. Man, I see you fucking wet up, <laughs> man, on my mama. Yeah. Look, the reason why I don't got any tattoos is you know I got a pandemic going on right now. Yeah. So, you know, I don't got no tattoos. I'm just trying to aesthetically and just with everything going on, I, I just want everything to um, be in my favor as much as possible. Uh -huh. and, I'm gonna look just like you, trust me, bro. <laughs> Next time you see me, I'm gonna look just like you. Wet up, not a, not a, not an inch on my body, not gonna be covered as tattoos. But just as of right now, um, I don't want to give myself a certain look where I might, you know, end up biting myself in the ass or you know, shit when I sleep. Yeah, bro. So, I mean, um, it's, it's but now nah, let me tell y'all something. I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna keep it on camera. You know, my first tattoo I'm gonna get. First one, so none of y'all bite the sauce or anything like that. I'm gonna get a. A verse down my neck. It's gonna be right on you for what I'm uh -huh. saying. Get my neck blasted, of course, and yeah, that's it. That's all for the tattoos. But the, the body gonna be drenched for sure. Yeah, yeah. Bro, a lot. I get oh, it. Oh, 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 so, so you be gambling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, bro, I got it. Man, if I told y'all my age, y'all not even gonna believe me, man. If I, you know, I, I, I just recently purchased myself a Mercedes Benz off the lot. You know what I'm saying? Brand new. Um, uh -huh. All from gambling. Complimentary, complimentary to the casinos, you know what I'm saying? But I also lost a lot of my savings complimentary to the casino. So, you know, it's a love-hate relationship, but that's 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 in itself is the key. You got to understand in gambling, there's highs and lows. And sometimes you got to be stubborn to get to your high, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, shit, if you stubborn for long enough, you might, you might go broke. You know, but yeah, I get a lot of my money from gambling, bro. I get a lot of my money from everything. Like, I'm an entrepreneur, so 
And uh, shit. Well, where where did you get this like gambling? You know, tactic from you, they mean like, like myself, me, myself, and I. But like, like, what, what age did that really come at? Like, when did you so realize? On my, like, 18, on my 18th birthday, uh huh. You know, I had, um, you know, I had, I had my female, one of my females, you know, take me, take me, um, out to Palm Springs, Palm Desert. You know, on the way back, I seen a, a sign, it, was, it said Morongo Casino, 18. Uh -huh. I told her, I'm like, hey, baby. Hey, baby, pull over one time. We pulled over. It was history. I made four hundred dollars that day. Damn. I never off a roulette. Um, I feel like what fifty dollars. So I flipped that to like four hundred. Ever since then, I was, you know, I fell in love. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Genuinely, I think like this, bro. So if you broke in your life, right? You got hundred dollars into your name. You got a couple different options. You know, you can buy some. You can buy some 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 product and you can flip it, or you can test your luck out at the casino. You know, and if you get educated and if you get experienced enough, it's not testing your luck, it's testing your strategy, you know, yeah. and how much times your strategy gonna fail, then how many times your strategy gonna, you know, succeed. So with that hundred dollars, that hundred dollars can take can can turn into two thousand. Easy. Very yeah. easy. Very easy. But that's some shit that seems like, you know what I'm saying, you're just like naturally good at too. Yeah. If I mean, yeah, you lose money, you dig me, but. Yeah, on the shin, take <laughs> shit on the real, bro. Like I told you, you gotta be stubborn with this shit, bro. A lot of you, cause anybody that personally know me, they be like, this nigga Jordan crazy, nigga. This nigga just be losing money. But this nigga Jordan, ah, uh, this nigga Jordan got the most money. You know what I'm saying? Because simple fact is I'm stubborn, bro. I understand it's highs and lows. We gon' gamble one day, ask cocaine cash. Nigga, shut up my nigga cocaine. Nigga, I'm pretty sure he told you about that. Put a bag in his pocket. He had to tell you, nigga, because he yeah. put, I put a bag in his pocket. 